Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Everything on the land is so much more wet and damp, and the temperature is a lot cooler now. We're well behind on jobs because we had to leave, so this week we have loads to do. We started off by assessing and working out the next steps on the barn conversion. We also wanted to check on our rainwater collection. We then did a quick check on our solar setup on the outhouse and also turned back on the gas bottle. We moved our camper van to a more open space so we could get more light on the solar panels. A little sweep up and a sew out of the tools too. Hola, bon dia. It's a very cool, crisp, overcast day here. Well, that's my line. I know, I know, I know. My line. That's my line, that's my line. <laughs> Hola, bon dia. It's a very cool, crisp, overcast day here today and we've got loads to get on with. Yeah, we surely have. We've got lots going on. We want to get, get back on cracking with the barn again. Obviously, just things to... Land clearance to do as always. It's a big list what we've got to do. Fix but the generator. Generator is a big one because um, last time around it broke. So we've picked up the part for that now. Yeah, so fingers crossed we can get that fixed because everything else kind of depends on the generator. Yeah, it really does. So one of the jobs that we'd like to do is to concrete this little area floor. We didn't manage to do that last time. So we picked up some plasticizer so we can do that job. So last time we were here, we started pointing this wall. I think we're going to go in a little bit and bring the point in a little bit further out because I think we did it too far into the stones last time. And these walls still need a jet wash because our jet wash broke last time. So we just need to jet wash these down before we can point this. Yeah, that was down to the generator breaking. Yeah, we thought it was the jet wash, but it was actually the generator that was broke. And we're going to be rendering over this wall because this concrete is so hard to get off. So we're just going to render over it. So what I did, what I've been doing is, as I said before, me and Laura's picked up we picked up quite a few stuff to get on with a few jobs, and we need to fix the generator, as we said. So I've got the part in here to fix the generator. So we've got a part somewhere in here. That's the bit that we need to fix the generator. So last time something went in on on the adapter part. So I've picked up that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's the right one. I've also picked up. Uh, an extension cable as well because last time we only had two and it was hard to pick up an extension cable that fits our generator out here so we picked up that now so that should be help us to have more extension points for jobs that we want to do in the future we've also picked up some plasticizer and as you can see i've also got all my tools all laid out ready so that i, can, I know, know what i can pick to do the job we've also picked up um, a mighty hoover as well that's to clean out the rat poop and also we're going to be hoovering out the barn as well today as well and doing some work in there because then we want to clear up some of the debris because you can only get so much up with the jet wash so the hoover is a it's an industrial hoover so it just picks up all the extra debris so that when we do start kind of doing the flooring and we start doing certain parts rendering and things like that we can get it cleaned out every single time so we're always working from a clean area and also as well a special edition on the land laura's mom got me this for Christmas. It's my a good old fashioned tool bag. It's like a handbag, isn't it, for, for women? Mm -hmm. So uh, men will relate to this. Women get excited about handbags, men get excited about tool bags. So uh, now I can put all my tools in here if I need. If I need to use this, pick up this tool, whatever I need. Got the tape measure on there and I can go through and get all my different stuff, put it in and then go Dossing around the land <laughs> with my little uh, man bag. <laughs> so now I've got my man bag all ready. I'm gonna. The first job, as we said, is to do is to fix the generator. And I've actually picked up two parts just in case, in case that one's not the right size. I think this one is gonna be the right size, but I've just picked up this just in case. I'm gonna take a screw, a few screwdrivers just in case. And I'm also gonna need these. Cause I think it's gonna be an electrical job. And um, I'm also going to, as well. I'm gonna take. The crimp is down and some electrical tape just in case I need to crimp one of the electrical points. Now we're going to do the job. Big thanks to AG1 for sponsoring this week's video. 
There's always so much to do on the land every day and sometimes it can be hard to build up routines that are good for your physical and mental well-being. That's why I'm so glad that AG1 has become a big part of our morning ritual. It's a convenient and comprehensive supplement. It's just one scoop once a day mixed with water. AG1 contains over 70 ingredients to support our baseline nutrition. AG1 is a big part of my morning ritual. It gives me so much more focus and energy so I can slam these posts in. AG1 supports my immune system. It's also a daily dose of my vitamin C and zinc. It's a powerfully simple supplement with natural ingredients, vitamins, minerals, whole food source nutrients and more. AG1 is designed to support your body's needs every day. They're here to make healthy habits beautifully easy for you. So head over to ag1.com forward slash the origin homestead to try it for yourself. AG1's given our audience a free year's supply of vitamin D3 and K2 in five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. And thanks again for AG1 for sponsoring today's video. So this morning the farmer called us over, we well called Dan over, and he gave him a big bucket of lemons and oranges. So we're enjoying. I'm starting to understand him a bit better now as well. It's hard, it's, it's like when you're kind of like, you know, you're not immersed in the culture all the time, it's hard to like pick up the language all the time. But it's kind of in nervous situations, you always can pick it up a bit better. So when the farmer was talking to us this morning, I'm starting to pick up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So um, we're just walking down the bottom of the land now and we're going to go and fix the generator. And uh, I'm excited to put to use my man bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's your man bag? I'm just here to look pretty on the camera. <laughs> Neat oranges. Yeah. <laughs> the good oranges. I'm here for there. moral support and to create the vibes. Yeah. Because I, I haven't got any idea about electrics, but I'm yeah, sure I'll learn vicariously. <laughs> the last time I did electrics, remember in the van, I nearly killed myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need to watch some YouTube videos, but <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna attempt it anyway. So as we were saying last time, the generator. What happened was, is basically, when we were kind of using certain appliances, it burnt out inside of here. I've just had a quick look, and I think I don't think it's going to be an electrical job. I'm not too sure until I take this off. But hopefully, <coughs> by looking at that one there, I feel like I'm just going to be able to just take these out and disconnect the positive and the negative and the grounding cable. So hopefully I can do that, and then I can just reconnect the positive, the negative, and the grounding cable back up again to this, and it should be an easy job, and then we can just get cracking with the actual real jobs that we need to do. So fingers crossed. Just need to take out the, 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 the negative positive the negative on the ground and that's it. Oh, okay, and then that's... just reconnect it back to this. And then uh, that should be, should be, job should be a good one. That's easy enough, isn't it? Uh, So that's that all done now. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go and use a generator now that's fixed up. We're gonna go and test the uh, the well pump to make sure that what that's not broke and also a few other things on the land too as well. This is quite a simple job, wasn't it? It was in the well, end. Wasn't too bad to be honest. We wanted to double check the well pump and see if it's working okay, as we're going to need water for building jobs moving forward. So the generator's fixed, we've managed that, that's a big bonus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check the pump and then we're going to check the waterways to make sure there's no leaks in the pipe that's we've put underground or anything like that, just making sure everything's up and running as it should be. Tell the hotel over the main gate, do you copy? Roger that, tell the hotel then. Cool. Uh, how's the water looking up there? Is the water looking good? Is it working? Lima Hotel, Adela Hotel. Delta Hotel over to Lima Hotel. Copy. Uh, water's working fine, Delta Hotel. Fantastic. Awesome. It's all looking good down here. Roger that. What? <laughs> it's code. It's security code, Laura. What's security code? It's me, security code name. I'm Delta Hotel. 
your Lima Hotel. Okay, Delta Hotel. Do you copy that, Lima Hotel? Yep, Roger that, Delta Hotel. Lima Hotel out. <laughs> so Laura's just gonna go and get our new addition to the homestead. Um, you've seen Henry, this is a new person that we've got on the job, a new apprentice. So like I said before, what we're going to do is we're going to start, there's a lot of kind of rubble that's around here, a lot of things that hasn't been tidied up and it was high, kind of hard to pick it up. So that's why we've got the, we've got our little apprentice, a new apprentice to come and help pick it all up. So uh, Laura's gone to get that now. Welcome, Titan. His name isn't Namby Pamby Henry, it's Titan. Yeah, it's not Archer, it's not, it's not a... Uh, Henry, it's Titan. Titan, this Puva means business. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it doesn't break. We then got to work on hoovering and sweeping up any debris and dirt that was left over from the last job so we can have a nice clean area to get on with the next ones. You caught his, you didn't. I did. You didn't. The viewers know that I've caught you. You didn't catch <laughs> I did. did. So what we've done in here is we've cleaned, as you can see, we've cleaned all of the debris, debris, debris? Debbie? All the debris, debbies that were on the floor. <laughs> and um, as we, what we've done is because we're going to be coming back and pointing this, so we've kind of cleaned out all these areas here. We've done the same as this one, done around the fireplace, these two little ones here, just cleaned it all out, ready to point. And what else? Render. Render. Point and render. So now it's now it's your turn to clean the outhouse. So I did the job last time as everyone's seen, flashback. Now it's your turn. Okay. So as you've seen last time we pulled down all the cladding in the partition wall where the rats had made the little nests in there. So we couldn't get down into the little nooks and crannies because we didn't have a hoover but now we've got the generator fixed and we've got an industrial hoover we can start to do that. So our job is to get down this part here and hoover up all the rat stuff that was left and also just hoover on any other places. But Dan will be doing this job because this <laughs> this outhouse isn't a joke to me. <laughs> this outhouse isn't a joke to me. <laughs> So Dan will be doing this job because this outhouse is actually not a joke to me because I've probably had about 15 nightmares about this outhouse and I'm not even joking about the rats in there and I'm sleeping inside and there's snakes and there's rats. So I think it's a little bit more than just being nervous. I think it's a full on phobia at, the, at this point, but I will be providing moral support and hopefully we can actually start using it again because I don't think we really used it last time because of all the rats in there. So. I would like to be able to use it. Yeah, so as Laura said, she's given me the unlucky job. So uh, as we, as you seen last time, we took all this cladding out and this is where the rats were kind of like making it their little home. So we took all this down, so it's done the job because we've come back this time. There's, there's no rats at all. It's just a lot of rat poop, a lot of goodies, as we said last time. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean it, give it a good old clean out. I need to turn the electrics back on, turn the water back on, make sure it's all working. And then we can get back to using it. Are you gonna be using it, Laura, for a shower? Maybe. I'll let you go first and I'll see. I was doing it when the rats were here. <laughs> yeah, you weren't even bothered, were you? <laughs> I was showering with the rats. Yeah. <laughs> this time I'll be showering alone. Mm. I'm going to miss them. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Shall we get cracking then? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. You do the outside, I do the inside? Yeah. Let's get going. Outhouse is looking so much better now. Looking so much cleaner. We've cleaned all out in here now, so we can use the shower. It's looking a lot cleaner. The toilet's looking a lot better since we've pulled all this back now. So it's looking a lot more cleaner and better. So from now on, we can hopefully start having some showers in there and also using the toilet too. I know I'll be using it. I'm not sure if Laura will, but we'll see. But it's the option and it's there now anyway, so we can uh, have a nice warm shower whenever we need one. So whilst we've got the hoover out, the truck is an absolute mess. 
Yes, that is some sort of mould. Don't know where that's from. But there's loads of sand and dust in from the various things that we've carried in the truck. It's just filthy, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the hoover in and give it a good clean out. The truck has been well put to work on the land. We were grossed out to see how much mould was forming in there. Operation Nice Clean Truck Mode activated. So that's the truck all clean and tidy. We found stuff in there that we didn't even know we had. So it's a, it definitely was overdue a clean out. So next job is to do a bit of land clearance. Um, obviously we can't get all that done today, but we can strip away at it. It just never ends. <laughs> Using the trusty old biking axe to, to prune the trees. I seen the farmer a while back using a machete and uh, I thought I haven't got a machete but I've got an axe so I'm sure an axe will work and it works so well. We've been using like um, I know people who've said use the electric shears and we've tried them and they are quick but um, and people have obviously use like proper pruners but there's no quicker than the Viking axe so that's what I've been putting to use. So Laura's just gone up now to get the truck and we're going to pick up some more of the prunings We've already got a huge truck load and we're going to pick up some more of, of the tr these, this area of the trees we've been doing and then we're going to go and take them up to our burn spot ready to burn later on tonight. So just heading up to the burn pile now where we burn our prunings. We've got a lot up there, haven't we, Laura? Yeah, we've got quite a lot to burn, but this time of year is good because you can have a fire, you can uh, enjoy the fire in the night time and you can also get some pruning done and just do a job as well. Yeah, it's always an excuse to have a fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're, we're thinking as well tonight that we're going to make some jack of potatoes as well once the prunings start to die down. So. Yeah. Get some, tea, you, you can't beat a jack of a tea, can you? You can't. We spent many hours into the late evening burning everything away. There's something so special about sitting around a fire on a cold winter's night, watching the flames and listening to it crackle away. We call it the forest television. As the fire burns off, sometimes watching the embers glow is better than the fire itself. Get the door closed, Laura. Yeah, jack and potatoes aren't happening tonight. Yeah, we'd uh, planned on having some jack and potatoes, but um, it's not going to happen tonight. <laughs> it's, uh, it's starting to rain a little bit outside, so we've decided to call it a bit of a night. It's starting to get a little bit worse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm sure we'll find time to do them anyway. Yeah, definitely. Plenty of time. But yeah, it's been really nice getting back into the swing of things on the land and getting back into the building. But anyway, we'll catch you in the next one. Leave my hotel over at a Delta Hotel. Tell the hotel over the Lima Hotel I read you.
Well, <laughs> water's working fantastic over here. Nice, that's what we like to see. All good working on the homestead. I'll turn it off down here. Okay, roger that. Over and out.